Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a power balance test. What can a power balance test be used for? Ignition problems, fuel injector problems, misfire problems. Essentially, the way to do this, start your vehicle up, work your way down. If you have ignition coils, coil on plug, or spark plug wires, whichever, be very cautious while doing this. I'm not liable for anything you may do so be very careful what you want to do is go through and disconnect your individual cool packs or your spark plug wires while the engines running one at a time if you disconnect one and the engine doesn't start to vibrate or shake it still runs the same as it did when it was plugged in then obviously you have something wrong with that particular cylinder. So it might be a spark issue, it might be a mechanical issue, it might not be getting enough compression, there might be a bad valve, but this will locate it down to one individual cylinder. Let's go ahead and start the vehicle. Okay, once you guys have your vehicle started, you wanna start with your first plug wire. You wanna take it off. Oh wow, you see the difference? This guy's shaking really badly. Yeah. So, you just work your way on down the line. Oh, shaking really bad. So as you can see, there is no problem with this engine. It's getting its spark, it's getting its fuel fire. We'll move on to the other side. Now you don't wanna do this for too long because you're allowing raw fuel to go into the combustion chamber. You don't want this, so you know it's just for a couple of seconds. And that's all you need because you'll see it from the very start. Use this to locate not only where your problem's at, what problem you actually have. So locate where your problem's at and identify what the problem is. So you can have it identified to one specific cylinder Hey guys, that's great. So, like I said, for coil packs, it's the same way. Just unplug the clip with the coil packs clip in. For example, these clips, you want to just take pop these clips off and just pop that off right there during the test. And it's as simple as that. Pull this guy out. First, you got to pop your little clip out. I always use a screwdriver to push in right here. That way it's loose and I have it out like that when I'm performing the test. Have all these out for each one because that's what holds them on tight. And then once you start your vehicle up, come back and just pull this guy right off. So on each individual one, one at a time. I want to thank you guys for watching with Nate's Interactive Auto. And you guys keep on wrenching.